Hi everybody, this is Jean Charles Campagnon with the Kiwi app. Today I want to show you how to do basic configuration of Key Google Analytics. Key Google Analytics is a bridge that will basically add a small image into your eBay items and will then uh, act as a proxy, meaning that we're going to take the request from eBay with this image and then we're going to transfer it to Google Analytics so that you can track your eBay um, statistics with Google Analytics directly. So the first thing you're going to need to do is from the home page you're going to want to go to config items. This is already filled for me because I'm already using the application but uh, you should see something like that. So the first thing that you should do uh, is to add the tracker code to all of your listing. This will basically add a little image at the bottom of your items that will let us track um, your eBay items. And if you have um, the stealth version, you will not be able to uh, see this at all. If you do not have the stealth version for just 99 cents, then you, you'll just see a little code at the bottom. So the item domain profile, I recommend that you use www.ebay.com. And for a path to the item, I recommend that you use www.ebay.com slash ITM slash. The item property ID, you're going to need to create an account with Google Analytics so that we can send the information to it. So let's go to Google Analytics and let's see how to do that. I've already created an account, but if you do not have, you want to create an account and then you want to sign in. Once you're signed in, let me minimize that. This is some of my uh, own tracking. You can go to the admin section here and go down and create an account. Once you've created the account here, once you've, we've clicked, uh, you've clicked on the button, you want to go down here. The website name is going to be uh, ebay.com and the URL is going to be ebay.com. You want to leave JMT-8 here even though you might be on the East Coast and that is because eBay is on the West Coast and so we try to use the same time as them so that we can track uh, better what's going on or compare uh, times with eBay and not with your local time. The account name here, I'm going to call that, let's see, um, you could just name it eBay, track eBay, just to sort it within my list because I have a, a, a long list. I'm going to call it, please see, or no, actually, let's go with eBay tracking video. But you could really call it what you want. And you click on get tracking ID. You accept the term of service and it's loading. Now, right here, this tracking ID is the tracking ID that we're going to want to copy and put within our application right there. We're going to click Save, and when we do that, it's going to start to add the tracking code to, our I to all of our items because we've checked this to yes. It takes a little bit of time to uh, add all of those uh, tracking code, but it will catch up. Now let's look at uh, Google Analytics. We've added the tracking code. Uh, one of the things that you might want to do is to look at the referral exclusion list right here. By default, it um, does not allow for eBay referral domain, meaning that it's it, it allows it, but it's not going to track it. You might want to delete this if you want to be able to track, for example, um, referral from your store. When you go from your store to your item, your store would be a referral. And if you want to know that, you're going to want to delete this right here so that referrals can be counted. Okay, so now that um, this has been created, we're going to simply refresh our page here by clicking this button or pressing F5. And that is so that the menu here is refreshed. Otherwise, this menu here will not be refreshed and you will not see this eBay tracking video. So let's click on eBay tracking video and we're going to go to website, all website data here. And we're still in the admin section. 
this is the place where you're able to change, you know, add users if you want. But once we're here, we're going to click on reporting, and we are still within our eBay uh, tracking video all website. In this view here, by default, Google shows you yesterday's tracking. It does not show you up to today's tracking. So oftentimes you will have a feeling of, oh, well, this app is not working. But that's because it's Google is showing you the data, I'm sorry, up until yesterday by default. You want to change that here if you want to see today's data. Now, it takes some time too for Google to compile this, so it will not show up right away. What I recommend that you do to see if it's working is that you go to the real-time view here and overview. This should let you see when you have when you start to have hits when the code when the tracking code is being added to the website. It can take a little bit of time for um, Google to um, start counting those items. So what I did, and you can see that some of my item items are already coming, but the things that I recommend people to do is go to look at your item. I have a store, so this is easy for me to look at my store item. Click one of your item and go make sure that the tracking or this has been added to your item. If you use the stealth version, you will not be able to see this. And therefore, what you will have to do is right below your template here, or even within your template, right click and go to View Frame Source if you're using Chrome or some other um, browser, try to see the frame source. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you should see this added by Key Google Analytics. This is our code that we've added to your template to be able to track your items right there. This shows, if you're using the stealth version, it will not show the icon, but this way you'll be able to make sure it's working. So we have this item here. If we now go to um, our view here, we can see that we're hitting this page. Let me go here. Let me refresh and come back to Google Analytics. And let's see if it's coming. There you go. It's coming. And of course, I'm a returning customer because I just keep refreshing it. So it shows as a returning versus a new uh, new item, of course. If we scroll down, you can see a map. Obviously, I live in Edina in Minnesota. You can see the spot. But this way, you're able to see traffic from, um, from your users. So this is how you see if this is working by using the real time here. Again, if I go back to just the basic audience here, by default, Google first takes time to compile the day data. It's not real time. You can see here that we could get maybe a faster processing by doing this. And you can change, you know, the, the um, if we look at it weekly or if we, uh, let's see, look at our traffic sources, maybe it's going to have updated. No, not yet. You can see that all of this is delayed. It's not processed real-time by Google. What is being processed by real-time is the real-time overview, and that helps you see that uh, somebody is hitting your item. Let me try another one of my item to see that it's hitting this other item, and here it comes with a different link to the item. So that way you can see that it's working. So I hope this is going to help all of you to set up uh, your Google Analytics um, application or your key Google Analytics. Uh, to find the application, you can go back and click on My eBay application key Google Analytics, and it gets you started with the application right away. Now, this code here that I've uh, used to track my item, I can also use to track events, for example. So I'm going to copy that code right here. To differentiate, I track them with a different profile events.ebay.com, but you do not have to. You could just use www. And I'm going to add this to my store. Oops. Wrong one. Let me go back here. There you go. Copy it. Save it. 
go to my store and save it. Now when you add this to your store here, it actually does not add this to your store. There is an other video uh, that I made where we show you how to add this little tracking code here to your store so that we can track your store data as well and when people are hitting it. So there you go. I hope this is going to help some of you. Uh, please leave us a good review in the Google uh, App Center. This is very important for us. Uh, if you go to Application, Manage Application, you can see all of your application. And every time you write a good review, it helps us with placement and it helps us stay cheap. Um, and and stay at 99 cents or some some low uh, fee. And if you leave us bad review, then it gives us bad placement. So please don't. Please call us, communicate with us. We're here to help you and do everything we can to uh, help you succeed with eBay. So again, this is uh, Jean Charles Companion with the Kiwi app, and this was a presentation on uh, Go Key Google Analytics. Thank you.